Cauda equina syndrome. Cauda equina syndrome, or CES, is a rare but severe type of spinal stenosis. Cauda equina is a Latin name meaning horse's tail, and CES refers to compression of nerves in the distal end of the spinal cord, typically at L1 to L5, which contain nerves that give both motor and sensory innervation to the legs, bladder, anus, and perineum. CES is considered a medical emergency and requires prompt treatment because prolonged compression of these nerves can lead to permanent loss of bowel and bladder control, paresthesia, and paralysis of the legs. The most common cause of CES is a herniated lumbar disc in which the spinal disc slips out of place and compresses on the nerves and spinal cord. Other causes include epidural abscess and hematoma, spinal tumors, and trauma to the spine. CES causes a cluster of symptoms such as back pain and sciatica, which is severe nerve pain that travels down to one or both legs. Saddle anesthesia is a decreased sensation in the buttocks, anus, and genitals. There is also bladder and bowel dysfunction in which patients can have either incontinence or retention, shock constipation, and sexual dysfunction such as impotence in men. The onset of saddle anesthesia associated with bladder dysfunction is typical of the start of CES and the time at which the clock starts on diagnosis and management. Early intervention by surgical decompression in patients with CES is associated with a better prognosis, particularly when surgery occurs within 48 hours of initial presentation, because again, CES is considered a medical emergency because potential delay can lead to permanent loss of bowel and bladder control, paranesthesia, and paralysis of the legs. MRI is considered the gold standard imaging to diagnose CES. Many studies recommend obtaining an MRI within an hour from presentation. Prompt neurosurgical consultation is needed as surgical decompression within 48 hours has the best outcome. Nursing interventions monitor any changes in sensation, weakness of lower extremities. Initiate fall precautions and pressure ulcer prevention as most patients are bedbound or on bed rest at this time. Monitor for changes in bladder and bowel function. Obtain bladder scan to monitor for urinary retention and catheterize if needed. Bowel regimen to prevent constipation, especially if the patient is taking opioids for pain control. Ensure adequate pain control with use of opioids if needed, and use of gabapentin helps with the altered sensation.